word on the street, so Tony Ayo has responded to Rick Ross for disrespecting G-Unit with a $2 million offer for your music catalog that includes Tony Ayo, Lloyd Banks, and Young Berg, including the G-Unit album Beg for Mercy, and this started going crazy. Let's go. But look, it's the biggest boss, Ricky Rose, and I got a business offer for the diabolical genius. I read yesterday that Young Buck's catalog is worth 725k for the entire catalog. Cool. I can only assume that Lloyd Banks is worth about the same. So I say, thank you. So I say, let's make it and then keep it simple. Throw um, Tony Yeo in there. I will give you 1.5. And let's say for the not, I, I don't need the entire G on the catalog, but beg for mercy. Let's keep it simple. I'll give you another 500k for that. Masters of that. So that's $2 million. I'm making a business offer to the diabolical genius. It's $2 million. Boss. Okay, man. So that is what Ray Cross came up with. And I felt like a lot of G Unit members were feeling disrespected. And that's because. 50 Cent actually went against Rick Ross, first of all, you know, dissing Rick Ross about selling 31K first week with Mick Mill when they dropped the album. And this really going crazy. So we got some of this tweet and it said that uh, uh, from Toriyo fan club and it said that Ross is kind of crazy right now. Someone tell that ninja, Yeo catalog is worth more than all his artists put together. What a F with that emoji. So listen up, man. This is really crazy, way more crazy. Because if you all think about it, you all realize that what Rick Ross was trying to do, bro, Rick Ross was trying to, you know, go against, you know, he was trying to clown the whole G unit. You get what I'm saying? Because when 50 Cent came out Rick Ross first, he was talking about the 31K, the sold first week, right? And Rick Ross felt so crazy about that situation because he didn't know what to say bro he actually knew that he only sold at 1k first week and he actually knew that that wasn't enough records to sell to an artist a rapper at his level you get what i'm saying he knew that 50 cents actually got him real good so not only him bro he also got meek me right because these are like meek me and rick ross coming together to make an album listen up man a50 Cent decided to make a new album with the G Unit, you know, crew and the whole artists and rappers in G Unit, including Tony Ayo, Lloyd Banks, our Young Burke. Bro, that album is gonna be crazy. Trust me, it's gonna be crazy. So Rick Ross didn't know what to do, bro. But Rick Ross decided to flex his wristwatch. He decided to flex his ring and all that stuff so he decided to flex some money right trying to use the money against 50 but we already know that everything that he was saying against 50 that 50 got no money 50 needs some job 50 did this and did that we knew that you know he's just trying to get back at 50 bro because 50 got some money i mean 50 got some serious money he's doing a world tour right now selling out a million tickets in two weeks nobody did that bro I mean, when 50 was selling out these tickets, everyone was making a lot of money. And Tunieyo happens to be on tour with 50 cents, right? Uh, I think Uncle Mother happens to be on tour with 50 cents as well. So they're making a lot of money. But Rick Ross felt so disrespected about that, felt so jealous about that. That's why the, you know, the Tunieyo fan club coming up with the tweet, you know, letting Rick Ross know that, bro, listen up, man, Tunieyo, Music catalog is still worth more than all the artists, you know, under Triple MG and all that stuff, right? Because we already know, apart from Mick Mill, right? And uh, and apart from Mick Mill, bro, we don't know about the other ninja that is, that is in Double MG and stuff like that. So we know at the end of the day, 50 Cent, G Unit, Tony Ayo, they on the winning side, right? They on the winning team, bro. They've been doing some classic. They're still going to tours all over the world with that 20 years old album bro that's crazy right that's really crazy and you all know what rick ross can't do none of that tour bro he can't do that because 50 cents and the whole g unit they are crazy i mean they are they are superstars not just in the united states of america bro all over the world in africa in asia in colombia in all these countries bro in India, I mean, you can't just think about that. 
You get what I'm saying? So I feel like whatever the cross try to do, you know, 50, you know what 50 is doing at, at Didi right now. I mean, 50 is going at Puffy real good. And Rick Cross is still not happy about that, right? That is why, you know, Tony Ayo decided to like, the fan club decided to be like, listen up, man. <laughs> Rick Cross is being petty, so we gonna respond to him. We gonna let him know, you know, what the real deal is. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what the social media game is all about. That's what the entertainment industry is all about. I keep on telling you all, man, that you can't take none of this serious. I see you all go on YouTube, go on all this podcast, on all this interview, and talk crazy. And you all forget that all this stuff is just for entertainment and educational purposes. You get what I'm saying? They're just trying to entertain you all, man, because that's what you all pay attention to. Whatever there is that, the kind of feud going on between two rappers or two artists and stuff like that, that's what you all love, man. That's what you all go watch. You all get what I'm saying? So it's really crazy. But let me know what you all think under the comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you all get notified whenever I drop a new video. Catch you guys later.